For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. Alright guys, now we're going to do this problem where they want you to find the tension developed in the three cables in order for equilibrium to be held at this uh, 30 pound, 300 pound crate. So we got the force vectors, uh, we got a tension over here, we got a tension going this way, and a tension going this way, and a tension going straight down. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to find all the uni vectors and everything becomes much easier. So first to find the uni vectors, what you want to do is you want to find all the points involved. So A sits at 0 in the I, plus 6 in the J, plus 0 in the K. B sits at negative 3 in the I, plus 0 in the J, plus 2 in the K. C sits at 2 in the I, plus 0 in the J, plus 3 in the K and D sits at 0 in the I plus 9 in the J plus 4 in the K. So we're going to find uni vectors aiming in all the directions of the forces that are involved in the system. So let's start with AB. To find the uni vector AB, first we need to find AB, which is B minus A, which comes out to be negative 3 in the I minus 6 in the j plus 2 in the k. The magnitude of AB which is found by doing the square root of the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. You plug in these three values into this formula and you get that it's exactly 7. The univector AB is found by dividing the vector AB by its magnitude. So dividing these three values by 7 gives you the univector which comes out to be negative 0.429 in the i minus 0.857 in the j plus 0.286 in the k. So that's our first uni vector. Second one is AC. I'm going to move quicker now because I already showed you how to find them. So I'm just going to go through it. AC is 2 in the i minus 6 in the j plus 3 in the k, magnitude is 7 again, univector AC is equal to 0 0.286 in the i, minus 0 0.857 in the j, plus 0 0.429 in the k. AV, it's 0 in the i, plus 3 in the J, plus 4 in the K. Magnitude of AD is equal to 5 exactly. So the univector AD is equal to 0 in the I, plus 0.6 in the J, plus 0.8 in the K. And the univector going straight down, it's just going straight down, it has no magnitude on the X or Y, so univector, let's call it of the crate, univector C, is equal to negative 1 in the k, that's it. The other two magnitudes are 0. Now that we have all the univectors, let me turn the page, you know that each of the forces, force AV, the Cartesian vector form of this force will be given by the magnitude FAV times the univector AV. Same thing applies for all of them, AC, AD, and the crate going straight down. So FAC is equal to the magnitude of FAC, which we don't know, times the univector AC. This is the magnitude of FAD times the univector AD. And this is the magnitude of FC going straight down times a univector aiming in C direction, so aiming straight down. We already found the univectors, so this is what we're going to get now, Cartesian vector form. For AB is minus 0.429, which is the univector, FAB in the I, minus 0.857, FAB 
be in the J plus 0.286 F A B in the K. Please try to be as neat as possible when writing all these numbers because your paper is going to get filled with numbers and it's easy to make mistakes. For AC we get 0.286 F A C in the I minus 0.857 F A C in the J plus 0.429 F A C in the K. For AD we get 0 in the I minus 0.6 F A D in the J plus 0.8 F A D in the K. Sorry, that is plus 0.6. And for the tension of the crate is 0 in the I, 0 in the J, and it's the magnitude F C times the unit vector C, but we know the magnitude. The magnitude is given as 300 pounds, so it's negative 300 in the K. So, alright, so now the problem becomes much more obvious. You know that the sum of the forces is equal to zero in statics. So basically, all you got to do is add them together. You know that everything's going to add up to zero. If you add all of these together, this is zero, this is zero, and all the k's are zero. So all the i's are zero, all the j's are zero, and all the k's are zero. So we can find three formulas to find all of our variables. So basically what I'm telling you is, let's add all the i's together, minus 0.429 f a b plus 0.286 f a C is equal to zero. Now the J's together minus point eight five seven F A B minus point eight five seven F A C plus point six F A D is equal to zero. And our last formula is the case together, which is 0.286 FAB plus 0.429 FAC plus 0.8 FAD minus 300 is equal to zero. Now we have our three formulas and we have three variables, FAB, FAC and FAD. So we can just solve this system easily using algebra and sometimes trigonometry, but in this case algebra. So let me go back. I'm going to call this equation 1. I'm going to call this equation 2. I'm going to call this equation 3. That way I can easy, easily show you what I'm doing to solve this system. But this is algebra. You should be able to do this on your own at this point. So equation three, I'm gonna multiply by this fraction, negative 0.6 over 0.8. When you do, you get this new formula for uh, equation three. You get negative 0.2145 FAB minus 0.322 FAC minus 0.6 FAD is equal to negative 225. I put the I put the um, 300 on the other side of the equation. That's why it's 225 uh, after the equal sign. Now that you have this uh, new equation, you write equation 2 right below it again. I'm just rewriting equation 2. 0.857 F A B minus point eight five seven F A C plus point six F A D is equal to zero. I just rewrote equation two. Let me put equation two right here. As you can see, when you add them together, the A Ds cancel out, and you get this new equation. 
minus 1.07 FAB minus point I'm sorry, minus 1.18 FAC is equal to negative 225. Just add them together and this is what you get. Now you rewrite equation one over here. Let's say for, let's manipulate equation one a little bit. I'm manipulating equation one and I'm rewriting it. I'm solving for FAB, FAB is equal to 0.667 FAC. To show you what I did, equation one right here, all I did is solve for FAB, that's all I did. And I get this new equation. So this equation, uh, this new equation one is just equation one manipulated. You can plug this in you're basically gonna plug it into this equation right here and you're gonna replace FAB by 0.667 FAC and multiply by negative 1.07 and you're gonna get minus 0.713 FAC minus 1.18 FAC is equal to negative 225 you solve for FAC and you get that it is equal to 118.8 pounds. You just add them together, whatever the coefficient is, you divide it into negative 225 and you get the result for FAC. Now that you have FAC, you plug it into this formula and you get FAB should be equal to 79.23 pounds. And you can plug this into, let's say, equation 2, for example, and you get the, you solve for FAD and you get that FAD is equal to 282.8 pounds. And these are the three tensions developed by the cables to sustain this crate. Final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.